Um, the review I have for you today is on the Lamy Scala. I'm a big fan of Lamy if you don't already know this and if you haven't already seen it. I have some other Lamy videos and I have quite a bit when you look at my traveler setup. That being said, I got this pen at a time because I really was curious on what it was like. And I also knew it was a bit more slim here, so it might fit into one of my pen loops. But I'm going to go straight into showing you what comes in the box. First off, it's a drawstring box. So you pull out the side. Inside the box you have, the pen is naturally here. Obviously, I have it taken out. Underneath that, you'll have your warranty information and some info about the design. You are supposed to have a converter from what I've seen. This one was sent to me because mine didn't have it in there, but they replaced it and sent me the converter, so I ended up having one anyway. So we're fine there, no loss. After that, you have the pen. As you can see here, I got the stainless steel version. I'm a really big fan of the way Lamy does stainless steel. Uh, I believe they call it brushed steel, I think, but it gets this really nice reflection with light. It just looks fantastic to hold. And then the finish on all the steel parts on here as well, those are like mirrored. So they reflect, you can see my reflection right there. You can see it really well. I like the way light hits this pen and any of the other ones. I have the Lamy 2000 made out of the same thing. For their nibs, they use the same proprietary tech from the Safari, the All-Stars, and a few other ones. It slides off. Very simple. Very easy. You really shouldn't do it when there's ink in there, because I'm going to have a bit of a mess now. But uh, it's very easy to interchange that if you decide you want to go with something else or try something else. The cap does post. It's a pressure fit or friction fit. So you have to push. It's really not too hard to get it on there, though. It doesn't take much pressure at all. And when it's on there, it's very stable. I don't see any issues. It doesn't click or anything, but I don't see any reason this would slide off. The grip on here is a stainless steel grip. It's actually really long too, which is surprising. This pen to me also, I will say, I don't think it needs to be posted. I prefer it unposted. In this pen, I have kind of an issue. Look at this cartridge. There's a lot of wiggle room. Like way more than I'm used to seeing on any kind of pen. I've never seen that much. When I first bought the pen, I tried the converter and I'm probably going to ink everywhere when I do this, but I want to show you when you use the converter, it's supposed to just slide in and be friction fit. Well, when I put this one in, there's like no resistance. It's in there, but this takes nothing to come out. It doesn't feel safe to me. There is a ton of wiggle room on this as well. I am just blown away by this because Lamy's to me have always had really good uh, craftsmanship but like you can't really see it totally but there's so much wiggle room in here so I never tried using the actual cartridge because I just felt like it's not it's not fit enough when I use this in a studio when I use this in a safari uh, well technically this is the different one you don't use in a safari but you could there's still more friction this one does not have great friction on it I don't like it so I, I went with the cartridge because it fits tighter Right? And even this is super loose. It's got the friction, so I don't feel like it's going to come out as easy. But look at that. That is so much wiggle room. So that's something I'm, I'm honestly like, I don't want to say upset, but surprised by and really not a fan of. That's kind of pushed me back from using this pen more. I just, I don't know why it's it's got that much space and it's so loose. For size comparison, I'm going to be using a Lamy Safari and a Lamy Studio. The Scala is slightly longer than both pens. It's closer to the Safari in length, but we're going to look at them uncapped as well now. In regards to uncapped, they get much closer in length. It is pretty similar to the Studio in length and then slightly longer than the Safari. Then when they're posted, you're looking at the Scala being the longest, followed by the Safari, then the Studio is definitely shorter than the rest. With writing, I'm using my Tomoe River Notebook again. I love these things, like I've said many times. Now for fast writing.
I think there's something wrong with this pen. I, I think that there's something wrong with the way it's machined on the inside because I'm getting so much start and stop and like skipping and I just don't have that issue. And I've I tried switching nibs on here once. I put this on a Safari, no issue. I put one of my nice nibs that I use on Safari on here, issue. I think there's something wrong with my pen. So there's a normal line. There's not really any flex. I mean, maybe the tiniest bit, but this is the same nib used in a Lom, uh, Lamy Safari. See what I'm saying? Right there, 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 there. I just, I, I honestly think I have a messed up pen, which sucks because now it's outside of warranty. And I tried to put it off for a while to see if I could get like it to soften or it'd be better. Maybe it was new. I don't think that's the case. I actually think I have a malfunctioning pen because truthfully to me, the design of this pen is great. I think it looks sharp. I think this body fits really nice. I think that posting it's not really an issue or not really a thing I would do. I'm not a big fan of how the weight is on that just because it's the stainless steel the grip though it's stainless steel it has grip i feel uh like it's not going to slide i don't feel like it's that smooth compared to like the visconti i reviewed before the nibs we already know they're the same as any other lamy that i've ever used but i think there's something wrong with this pen on the inside and that really is off-putting to me this is one of the only pens i've ever had that was straight defective and it's it's super upsetting I hope if you do get this pen, you don't have the issues I have because it's a gorgeous pen and it feels amazing or would be amazing in every regard. You want an upgraded Safari? This is the pen for you. Thank you again for watching my review on this pen. I think it would be great for left-handed people as well, as long as you don't have the issues I have. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe down below. 